Video is about my UVC lamp. Today I just bought a UVC lamp. It has arrived today. Uh, I bought two. So I'm gonna open this. I haven't opened it yet, so I'm gonna open it now and show it to you. The probably use a heater gun to melt the plastic, so it's very, really, very really hard to open. Throw away the plastic and wash your hand because we don't want any viruses to be sticking onto any plastic or clothing. So anything you buy from the internet, wash your hand, wash the packages. Alright, let's test this thing out. It's very really bright. <laughs> this is a 60 watt LED UEC. It can kill any airborne viruses that you can't see instantly and effectively. It's wonderful. I have bought two and it's really, really bright. If I turn it on and turn off the lights and you can see the brightness. Yeah, it is really bright. According to the research, UVC is more safer than UVA and UVB. It doesn't penetrate your skin, but to be sh on the safe side, try not to be so near to it for a prolonged period of time. So if there are any viruses that comes to you or near you, it will kill them instantly before it reaches you. So the best place I put this is in the house and outside the, the house, near the windows and doors, where airborne viruses can approach and enter your house. Once you have this in stock, I believe, uh, I don't have the proof, but scientifically people already done that, I believe any airborne viruses that you have seen will be killed by the UVC before it reaches you, your clothes, your hair, your skin, or go inside your nostrils. Okay, this is a 60 watt UVC that I bought online, and it's really cheap, it's not that expensive. It's about 40 something, less than 50, compared to other brands that it costing you more than $80 for, I don't know, for, for about 50 watts. It's not even 60 watts. So this is the best one. Yeah. And this is the second one. Yeah, the first time I look at it, I just got blinded by it. Yeah. You see? So it's a 360 degree UVC light. Oh, this is the way I protect myself that is using UVC. I put all the buildings, all the streets, offices, houses, apartments, staircase, everywhere, even elevators, will use UVC in the future. Because you just cannot keep on curing what you cannot see. It is better to prevent than to cure. So all the entrances, like to the library, to the grocery shop, hypermarket, can go through a gantry. Uh, with a UVC light rather than having a spray, a misty spray that is a bit wet on your clothes. So thank you for watching. Be safe from COVID-19. If you want to prevent yourself from touching UVC, use a timer. This is what I normally do. I just hook it up onto a timer. You set it to like uh, every 15 minutes per hour, uh, it will light up. But unfortunately, you can't set it to one minute. This thing is based on 15 minutes per, per button. You see the, thing here, the plastic that gone down, gone up. Outside is every 15 minutes per one hour. So every 15 minutes it will light up, uh, around at night and into the morning. Just simply bacteria for which we don't have effective uh, drugs.
And I'm sure you'll recognize、uh, at least some of these、uh, superbugs. These are the more common ones around today. We actually know how to kill every kind of、uh, microbe, every kind of virus, every kind of bacteria, and that's with ultraviolet light. And that wavelength is called far UVC light, and it's, it's just the short wavelength part of the ultraviolet spectrum. So what you see is, as, as we know,、uh, germicidal light is, is really good at killing bacteria. But what you also see is, is that it penetrates into into the upper layers of our skin, and it can damage those key cells in our skin, which ultimately, when damaged, can lead to skin cancer. So what you're seeing now is that again, far UVC light's perfectly fine at killing bacteria,、uh, but what far UVC light can't do is penetrate into our skin. Now, viruses and bacteria are really, really, really small. So the far UVC light can certainly penetrate them and kill them,、uh, but what it what it can't do is penetrate into skin, and it can't even penetrate the dead cell layer right at the very surface of our skin. So that's actually what our lab has been working on the past five or six years, and I'm delighted to say the answer to both these questions is an emphatic yes. Yes, it does work, but yes, it is safe. I see far UVC lights in surgical theatres. I see far UVC lights in food preparation areas, and in terms of preventing the spread of viruses, I see far UVC lights in, in schools,、uh, preventing the spread of、uh, influenza, preventing the spread of measles, and I see far UVC lights in,、uh, in, in airports or airplanes, preventing the global spread of viruses like H1N1 virus. 消息先講到呢度，下節報繼續報導。